The investigation is underway as the Onalaska Police Department looks into the body that was found off of Highway 53 yesterday morning. Police say that there is no danger to the public and they are working closely with one family to determine if it's their missing relative. News 8 Now's Cade Overton fills us in on the next steps. Just before 10 o'clock Sunday morning, Onalaska officers made their way to the area of Highway 53 and Sand Lake Road for what was said to be a suspicious object. That's free way to Muncie. When officers arrived, they found what was confirmed to be human remains with very little evidence around it. So it was partially decomposed, so some portions were bones and there was uh, still some remains there. Now the remains are at the La Crosse Medical Examiner's Office where they hope to find out more. We are just working now with the medical doctors to uh, look for you know, any possible signs of um, the, re the cause of death, uh, if there was any foul play involved or not, uh, just what those types of investigations can reveal. Chief Ashbeck said the next step is for the detectives to get the autopsy results to find out more, but that could take weeks or even months. And when I say quicker, a few weeks, if they have to send um, bone structures off, dental records, um, other items like that, uh, it can go into the months. Even though there isn't a lot of evidence to work with and the autopsy may take some time, that isn't going to stop the Onalaska Police Department from trying. We want to be able to bring closure to, you know, um, potential family members, relatives, friends that, you know, may have been missing this loved one. Chief Ashbeck also mentioned he has already begun to look into missing persons to see if anything might line up. Reporting from Onalaska, Kate Overton, News 8 Now. Well, Onalaska police are working closely with Tyler Henry's family to try to determine if this is him. He is a 36-year-old man who went missing last fall. Tyler was last seen on September 2nd in the area of Sand Lake Road and Well Street in Onalaska, but police want to stress they have not made a positive identification at this time.